A warehouse like this contains hundreds of different chemicals and it is essential that they are stored safely. This can be particularly challenging when the physical and chemical properties of the products, if not stored correctly, may react together and cause a dangerous situation. Here is an example of what can happen when incompatible chemicals are mixed together. In this case, the workplace was filling IBCs with a liquid chlorine product from a bulk tanker. Liquid chlorine is a class 8 corrosive alkaline product. This IBC had been previously used to store a phosphoric acid-based liquid fertiliser. This product was class 8 acidic. Even though there was only traces of the liquid fertiliser left in the container, the reaction was sufficiently vigorous to cause an explosion and destroy the IBC. The process of separating products as a means of controlling the risks associated with the mixing together is called segregation. Other terms which are sometimes used include isolation and away. There are a number of methods we can use to segregate products which are incompatible. A few common ones are using separate buildings, using physical structures such as firewalls or bunding, and distance. The way chemical products are stored can have a big effect on the risk of a fire and the severity of a fire should one occur. Almost 200 firefighters work to control this fire in a chemical factory in Melbourne. Where a single product needs to be completely isolated, the use of portable buns works well. For lower risk products and smaller volumes, separation by distance is an option. The rule of thumb is that incompatible products need to be stored three to five metres apart. The segregation chart will help determine the minimum distance required. These minimum distances will need to be increased when storing larger volumes or large pack sizes.